Hey guys, welcome back to the Coffee and Hero Show. We're on to our pull list section of the week. So as ever, just going to give you guys a little bit of insight into my pull list this week. Now, we did have uh, some issues again this week. I really am sounding more and more like a broken record. But uh, we had a box that arrived that was heavily, heavily damaged. I'll superimpose an image over the top, like that. But uh, yeah, it was very much the fault of the delivery company rather than Diamond themselves. And, and in fairness to Diamond, they've been very good with me. They are sending out replacements for titles. It does mean there are a couple of titles that were initially due this week that we do not have because I refuse to sell damaged stock. Uh, but I'll take you through those as we go because I have a couple of issues in here that I've taken myself as damaged ones to read. But obviously, I'll replace for myself when, uh, when the new ones come in. But... Just to take you through what I have in my playlist this week, as I said, there are other titles beyond what I'm reading, of course, uh, but these are the ones that are here for me. So first up, undoubtedly one of the biggest titles this week is Batman Fortnite Foundation. So this is a one shot. Uh, I believe it comes with the Batman Who Laughs skin, this one. I'm not normally one to jump into the Batman Fortnite stuff. I didn't really read it before, but this one has a very distinct difference. Snyder has to be read. So, we have loads of them in stock. We ordered big on it this time, so do not be going out and paying over the odds for it. Come down to us. We'll get you sorted with this title. So, uh, yeah, that is that. Uh, that Undoubtedly, one of the ones I'm most looking forward to reading this week is Batman The Long Halloween Special. So this is a one-shot. You're reuniting the original team, Tim Seale, Jeff Loeb, and uh, we're delving back into The Long Halloween. I've spoken before about my love for The Long Halloween, one of my absolute favorite Batman titles of all time. So a little bit more of it. Please don't be destroying the legacy. Please be adding to it. We shall see. Another one I'm definitely looking forward to this week. You'll have seen me talk about it in the uh, What's New in This Week uh, section. Reckless, uh, Destroy All Monsters. Again, I can't say it enough. Master Craftsman. Some of the best storytelling around. These guys are unstoppable at the moment. We have all three volumes in stock. This is the third. Do yourself a favor. Get into the world of Reckless. Next up, I have Echo Lands, which is up to issue three now. So this is the sideways title if you will uh, from J.H. Williams the third fantasy some of the best art around at the moment so really digging that so far I would say one of the biggest titles this week is uh, House of Slaughter so brand new number one from the world of something is killing the children so Tinian's on board this as is Word of Della Dera but you've also got some uh, co-writers and co-artists for this as well so again we ordered quite a few copies of this so you should be grand uh, don't be going into this for you speculators out there, and you know who you are, uh, don't be going into this thing, this is going to go up in value the way something is killing the children did. This has had the biggest print run for a boom title outside of Berserker. So the way comics work is, usually if something's worth a lot, it's either because it gets optioned for a movie or a TV show or first appearance or whatever, but it's because the print run is low, it's the scarcity of it. This will be everywhere. Get it because it looks like a damn good title, not because you think it's going to be worth what something is killing the children is worth. Uh, next up, we have the latest issue of Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal, with a very much not safe for work sort of cover. Uh, Garth Ennis, Goran Suzuka, again, very adult title. I just dig it. I think it's great. Uh, what I'm very much looking forward to this week as well, actually, just as Something is Killing the Children is getting a spin off series, so too is Philadelphia. This is one called Nita Hawes Nightmare Blog. So you can see there, it's Rodney Barnes, it's Jason Sean Alexander. So I'm all in on this. Again, I love the world of Philadelphia. I love what they've been doing with it. They've been adding to the mythology left, right, and center, and uh, a brand new spin off title. I think that'll be perfect for new readers as well. Same with House of Slaughter. You know, it might be the kind of title you read just to see what the fuss about something that's killing the children is. And then again, we've got all the trades in the store, so we can get you caught up easily enough there. Uh, up to issue three now of Second Chances. So, this, of course, is the image title about a guy who can make you disappear. Little mystical elements to it as well. So, definitely one to enjoy. Another one I'm really, really looking forward to this week is Time Before Time number six. Now, I talked in the, uh, the What's New in This Week video about the, the graphic novel that covers issues one to five. Issue six is very much a one shot. Declan Shelby is both writing and drawing this one. He's only a writer in the main series, well, only, uh, but he's doing writing and art on this. And from what I understand is the one shots won't be appearing in the graphic novels, I think. Uh, so they're only really including the main story. So this is the kind of issue you can only really get with uh, collecting single issues. The same, of course, could be said about The Walking Dead Deluxe. We're up to issue 25 of this. Kirkman, Adler, and Dave McCaig on colours. You don't need me to talk about The Walking Dead or sell it to uh, Great stuff. When We Find Them When They're Dead, we're up to issue 9. Again, I've spoken before. It was a title that sort of lost me a wee bit, but it's definitely got me back in. 
Uh, Simon de Mayo's art especially is incredible. Al Yoon doing some great world building with that as well. A new one this week as well is Aquaman Green Arrow Deep Target. So this is a, uh, a team up book, which you don't see an awful lot of these days. Outside of Batman Superman, because always. But yeah, this is a new one. And again, looking forward to it here. It's a Romain Cliquu on art, uh, Brandon Thomas writing. So that's going to be a seven issue mini series. Also new this week is Catwoman number 36. A bit of an odd variant for Catwoman, I have to say, but a bloody gorgeous one. Uh, Catwoman 36 comes with this variant, which is clearly Harley Quinn. Uh, this is Jenny Frisson on art. But then again, it is a, a fiercely Italian, so maybe their paths cross through that. But we've got spares of the, the variant and of the cover A if you're just reading the fiercely stuff. Next issue then of Checkmate, which is the uh, Brian Michael Bendis, Alex Malev miniseries, uh, continuing the Leviathan stuff that they set up in Event Leviathan. And we're up to issue five of that. A couple of cool looking ones this week as well are horror based in the DC universe and their limited series. So what we've got first of all is DC versus Vampires. This is written by James Tinney in the fourth and Matthew Rosenberg with art by Otto Schmidt. So that is a powerhouse team right there. Again, it's gonna be a limited series, 12 issues. I suppose think deceased, but with vampires. What more do you want? Uh, Deathstroke Inc. number two hits this week as well. Joshua Williamson, Hard Porter, dug the first issue of this, so hopefully issue two is more of the same. New Detective Comics this week, again, Fierce State tie-in. Again, I always collect the variants of this. I don't collect cover A, so it's not a variant sickness. All my variants are over there, but that's not the point. Uh, but I always collect variants, and Libra Mayo just, again, knocks them out of the park every single time. Next up, we have new issue of Flash, which, again, I've been loving. Jeremy Adams on this. Uh, Dan Harrison on art and yeah, burning stuff flash. I've been really digging it ever since uh, Infinite Frontier. Another hard hinged title, you may remember the Hill House line through DC Comics, which was Joe Hill doing his horror line. He had a series called Basket Full of Heads. This is the follow up to that, which is Refrigerator Full of Heads. So, again, limited series horror. I believe it's going to be six issues as well. But in terms of the horror based ones, this is definitely the one for me this week. Comes with a tagline, death was just the beginning. Uh, this is Task Force Z. This is written by Matthew Rosenberg, art by Eddie Barrows. I am in on this. This is basically undead versions of loads of uh, DC characters forming a suicide squad, if you will. But it's being led by Red Hood, Jason Todd. This looks awesome. This is definitely top of my pile this week. And again, that's, uh, I believe, gonna be a limited series. Uh, next up, we have Wonder Woman Black and Gold number five. This is the anthology series from DC, of course. Uh, focusing on Wonder Woman with the color scheme of black, white, and gold. So, yeah, we'll enjoy that. Uh, what do we got next? We've got Amazing Spider-Man up next. We're up to issue 77. So, again, this is the, the writer's room approach, if you will. I can see here Kelly Thompson's writing this issue. Looks like Sarah Pacelli on art. And, again, I've been enjoying the Spider-Man Beyond stuff so far. Next up, we have Black Widow. We are heading number 12 or Legacy 52. That found a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, this has been great as well. Kelly Thompson, Alina Casagrande on art. Great spy stuff with that. We've got new Moon Knight this week as well. Jed McKay, Alessandro Capuccio. The art is incredible in this. We've got that lovely Steve McNiven artwork on the cover. Moon Knight continues to be a great series. And then I've got a couple of issues at the end here that again, these were ones that arrived uh, slightly damaged. We've been able to satisfy all pull lists for now. We just don't have a lot of spare copies for the racks. We do have one or two, but not a lot. Uh, but again, we should be getting top-ups of these when Diamond send our replacements. So first up, you have uh, Zdarsky continuing with Daredevil, uh, issue 35 of this. Issue 36, of course, will then lead into Devil's Reign. I should say, if you are on Daredevil, let us know if you want Devil's Reign. Devil's Reign is an event coming up from Chip Zdarsky and Marco Cicchetto. We don't want to just assume. We never want to just put stuff straight on the people's pull list. Some people have said to us, you know, if it's Batman, put it on. If it's a certain cover artist, put it on. That's fine. But I, I firmly believe Devil's Reign is a follow-up to Daredevil, so I think you should read it. But it's also a Marvel event, so I don't want to just assume put it in your pull list because you might just like the main Daredevil title, so let us know. Uh, issue 2 of Inferno here as well, so Hickman continuing to wind down what he's doing with the, the X-Universe, uh, certainly before he steps away. And then one last one again. These are all damaged ones to say, hence why they're not bagged and boarded. But uh, just so I can read them, uh, we have Robin number 7, so... Easily one of DC's best titles. I bang on about it all the time. Joshua Williamson writing Glenn Meldicoff on art. And yeah, I might just start reading this. Okay. Uh, Robin number seven. 
Anyway, that's my pull list, as I say. There's there's other titles beyond that in this week that, you know, I'm not on. You know, New Mother of Madness is out this week, a new title called Anne from Eric Larson. You've got Darkhold Blade out this week through uh, Marvel. You've got some X titles, Wolverine, Sword, Marauders, things like that. So there's tons more beyond what I have, but that's just my pull list for this week. So as ever, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it proves useful and you know what's out this week. Anything appeals to get in touch as always. So take it easy out there. Look forward to seeing you in the store and uh, take it easy.